Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is Richard from iSalon Coaching. I've got someone to talk about today about how you have to evolve. It doesn't matter where you are in your salon right now. It doesn't matter where you want to get to. What matters is you have to evolve and you have to move. I want to talk to you really about maybe uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, the number one food in the UK then, back then, was fish and chips. That's what we used to have. Friday night fish and chips was our thing. I don't know if you remember that or not. And then that sort of went out of fashion. In came pizzas. Pizzas was the new thing. Everyone wanted pizzas. That went out of fashion. Chinese food came in and that went out of fashion. Then Indian food came in. And now we're moving on to something completely different. What I want to try to get through is think about your salon. There's always time to evolve and there's always time to move. Where do you rank in your town? Are you second? Are you third? Are you first? Are you the number one dude in town? Someone is always going to come after you. So I want to talk to you about something really important. You'll get this hopefully really well and then hopefully you can resonate this to your salon. Why we do coaching and why we teach you in our, our our mastermind group to keep ever changing and moving and not being satisfied with what you've got. So here we go. Domino's pizzas, everyone's heard of them. Biggest pizza thing in the world they were. They were huge. When they came to the UK in my hometown, everyone wanted a Domino's pizza or Pizza Hut pizza. That was it. It was the thing to eat. Five dollars, that's how much they cost. Five dollars for a pizza. Now if you're hungry, they'll do fine. Hey, Friday night, Saturday night, straight from work, you've worked your nettles off, you come home, all you want to do is shove food down your neck and drink a glass of wine maybe. Five dollars, hey, cool, nice and easy. The thing is though, is have you not noticed lately that this five dollar pizza is slightly dying? Like it's still there, it's still there, the place is empty, you'll see offers and specials everywhere to go and buy this pizza, Tuesday one, get one, get one free, free dessert, free drink, five dollar pizza, hey. But the thing is, that gourmet pizza, you know the one that has maybe the organic products, a bit more natural produce, they're selling for $25. Most people I know in my world go for the $25 pizza. All the 15, 16 year olds go for the $5 pizza. But the majority of people have moved on to the $25 pizza. Think about it, who would pay $20, $20 more for a pizza? It's just going to fill us up, that's all it's going to do anyway. In half an hour time, once we've it, we're going to be full, it makes no difference. But most people I know choose this $25 pizza. This is now outdated, it's gone. No one wants the tasteless $5 pizza anymore, not when there's a gourmet. I try and book this pizza on a Friday night, it's a, an hour wait. You couldn't even get it delivered anymore. They're too busy. You've got to queue up. It is chock-a-block. Eating in, eating out. You know this one. Pizza Express, I think, in the UK is pretty big. You know the difference. People don't necessarily want this. Two different markets. Where do you want your salon to market? Maybe you opened up here, but you want to evolve into this. Well, it's a whole new clientele, and you've got to give them more. You see, they don't charge $25, and they charge $5, and they're not the exact same pizza. They both do the same job, just like you. Your salon and the salon down the road and the famous salon that's in London or in Manchester or in Scotland, they all do the same thing. They all cut on cut. The difference is this offers more. It offers a thinner base, a crispier base, a more natural base, a lighter base. You know, the products on here are fresher, organic, not frozen. That is different to that. It's selling itself as different and people are believing it and they pursue and perceive that as different and they want it. That's the difference. So what sort of pizza do you want to sell? Remember, if you want to move from your $5 pizza to your $25 pizza, you can't give them the same rubbish you gave them for $5. There has to be a bigger value in it for them. They have to feel they're getting more. You know, what do they want? What does your client actually want? So. Taking this back to your salon, you know, which one do you want to be? Like, if you want to get your salon to give you more money, you need to charge more per client that comes through the door. And if you want to charge more for the client that comes through the door, you have to think about the Dira pizza. It's better products. Delivered exactly the same, like two pizzas, both exactly the same size, but one has bigger value because people perceive it's better for them. It's maybe less, less fattening on their belly. Don't know why it's the same, I believe. But it, the, the tomato is a bit more gourmet, a bit more homemade, a bit more organic. The, the ham might be smoked compared to this one. It, you know the difference between the two pizzas. I'm sure you've had a gourmet pizza that's cost you five times as much as a cheap Domino's pizza or a, a Pizza Hut pizza. But the Pizza Hut business is declining around the world. Domino's isn't 
the powerhouse it used to be. These gourmet pizzas made by the Italian man who's spinning them in the air, these are the guys that are doing well. You know what? Same pizzas, same food, same fill you up. Same delivery, different products, different value in the eyes of the client. Your job, if you want to up your game, you've got to give them more value. What can you give them? How can you make your hair salon or beauty salon salon better for them? You know, charging more, but you've got to give them value. One day, no matter where you are, if you do not move with the times, you do not give the people what they want, you are going to be Domino's Pizzas. You're going to be sitting there with an empty store, hoping to try and do specials to get people in. You're only going to attract people that want cheap food. That's going to be you. You need to evolve. Invest in yourself. That's the simplest thing. Like you people moan about staff coming and going. Invest in yourself. It's as simple as that. Like how to make you a better leader, how to make you a better salon owner, how to make you get across what your big dream is to your clients. These are the things that you should be investing in. I mean, make 2017 your year. Think about where you want your salon to be this time next year and go and get it. Like as simple as that. Stop putting fires out. Stop just working for today. Stop working for the future. You know, the, the pizza man who paid a franchise for this probably paid 300000 to buy himself a Domino's pizza. Thought he'd be making money all day long, not realising that the old-fashioned one has come back into fashion. It's overtook Domino's. People don't want quick, cheap food anymore. They want some more. They want something. They want to hear that story about how that person learned his trade off his mum and how he, his dad helped him crush the tomatoes to make the pizza. That's what's going to give you $25 compared to 5 I know what salon I wanted to be. I evolved. This was me. My very, very first salon I owned was like this. I remember a guy coming into to me and looking at my poster and said to me, how many perms have you had in, since you opened? And I went, none. He went, no, they're too cheap. Who would come for that? I thought I was doing a good job. It took me a few years, but I evolved my salon from here over to here. And I did that slowly. And I did that with precision. And I did that with clarity. I knew where I wanted to be. I just thought that's where I had to be. Have a cracking day, guys. It's midweek. Um, let's let's dive in. Let, let's, let's find out what your staff want. Let's give them what they want. Let's give some love to the clients. And let's all make some money. You know, that's what we're all here for. You're a small business. You want that salon to give you the lifestyle that you want. Don't have a job. You hear me say this. Do you know what a job is? Just over broke. It is. You've just got enough money to survive. I don't want that. I don't want you to have that. That's why I do what I do. I want you to have a lifestyle. I want you to earn some money, make choices, make a difference in this life. Have a cracking day.